Whether you're brand new at YouTube and you're about to upload your first video or you've been doing it for a while now, uh, YouTube has just changed the entire interface on how to upload a video. So in this video, I'm going to show you a step by step how to upload a video, but specifically how to make sure that it's discovered by as many people as possible. Let's go. Hey everybody, this is Antoine Dupont and welcome to another video. If you're new here and you're looking for practical and tactical ways to grow your business, then please make sure to subscribe and well, click the bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, so very recently, uh, YouTube has changed the interface on how to upload a video. So if you've been doing it for a while uh, and then you're just coming back and it just looked completely different, then I'm going to show you uh, how you do it step by step. So if you've never done it, uh, if you look in the upper right hand corner uh, and one you're logged in you know for you to find out whether you're logged in you see your little picture up top uh, but you should see this little icon which is uh, create a video or a post so you click on it and it will drop down uh, three options upload a video go live for you to go live and create a post so this is upload a video so we're going to click on that once you do that it opens up a brand new interface uh, this is brand spanking new here um, it's not vastly different than what it does but it just looks different right uh, so you have a couple of options here you can click on select a file and then go and pick up the file from uh, your computer or you can drag and drop this is usually what I do so I def a different screen here I'm just going to grab uh, a video file and I'm just bringing it here and then just dropping it there so it's just as simple as that once you've done this um, it is now going to open up uh, one of four steps on how to upload a video now um, if you have less than a thousand subscribers, then the second step, which is the monetization is not going to be there for you. So if you're seeing, you know, monetization on my screen, but you're not seeing it on yours is because uh, either monetization has not been turned on or you don't have a thousand subscribers yet. So you're not going to get that until you have a thousand subscribers. So first step is a uh, title. Uh, you need to have a title for your video. I think the, the title is probably the most important thing uh, because because YouTube is a search engine. So make sure that your title is as descriptive as possible, uh, preferably keyword rich, uh, or even better, uh, a sentence or a question that people ask. Uh, and you can reverse engineer uh, that process. I have another uh, in the description, there's a video with a much longer um, description on how to optimize your title. So you can go and look at that. That's about 20 minutes. This one is quick and dirty uh, type of how to upload. So here in the title, how to upload a video to YouTube. There you have it, right? So now this is descriptive, it describes what people are going to get out of that video. Uh, this is how I'm going to get uh, people to find that video, which by the way, this is how you find that video because the title was optimized. Uh, second thing is the description. Now the description is the same thing. Uh, YouTube is a search engine. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have tons of stuff in your description, uh, contact information about you, links to your social media. I cannot tell you the number of people I see there's nothing in the description. I'm like, put some stuff there. This is how people are going to discover. So uh, again, for me, I have all this stuff um, preloaded. So in the settings of your channel, you can preload all kind of information. So you don't have to type it over and over again. Like for example, subscribe to my channel, join my Facebook group uh, to uh, book me for an event. Like all of these links are standard and I don't want to type it every single time. So they're standard. But at the top here, which is really important, the first 150 characters, this is what people are going to see when they're searching for video, they'll see the title and the description in uh, underneath. So you want to make sure you have descriptive words there. So in I'm going to say in this video, I'll teach you how to, you know, upload a video to YouTube, right? So I, again, and I can use a different way of saying it just to help uh, uh, YouTube uh, figure out what this video is, and they can serve it to as many people as possible. Again, you know, putting a video on YouTube is great, but making sure that people discover it um, uh, is super important. And one of the two ways uh, that are super important is the title and the description. So once this is done, we're scrolling down and then we're getting the thumbnail area. The thumbnail is the same thing 
thing. You need to have 100 subscribers so you may not see the thumbnail uh, if you don't have a, a 100 subscribers. So just skip on that. But if you do, I would highly recommend that you create a custom thumbnail for all your videos. Uh, YouTube by default will actually pick three random screenshots. So this is what it's actually showing here. This is how the video is going to show. This is not very appealing for anyone. Uh, but if you have the capability, you can upload a custom thumbnail. So again, same thing, right? I'm going to go on my desktop. I'm going to pick a thumbnail, a random thumbnail that I created for something else. And boom, there you have it. Now, instead of a random picture, now I have a great thumbnail with my face. Uh, you can see the words nice, big and bold. So this is actually great. This is going to help you again, not having the video discovered, but having people click on your video as opposed to another one that may have a dull or boring thumbnail. So thumbnails are super important. Uh, next, we're going to the playlist. Um, if you haven't created a playlist, I would suggest that you create a playlist so you have your channel and inside your channel, you have multiple playlists. So you can see for me, I have video upload of marketing tips for business owners. If you don't have one, you just click on new playlist and you create a, a brand new playlist and you click on done. So this one is a marketing tips for business owner, YouTube questions, and then I'm going to click on done right? So I, I have done now all these things. So I'm going down and then the last thing in the section one, which is super, super, super important. This is brand new um, is the audience is this video made for kids. Now, um, 30 seconds on that, uh, the FTC and YouTube is cracking down hard on people that are creating content for kids because there's been a lot of abuse, a lot. It's been like a wild west out there. So you need to actually tell YouTube, is this made for kids or is this not made for kids. If none of your content is made for kids, you can actually do that at the channel level. You go in the settings and you say, none of my content is for kids, which is what I've done because none of my content is ever for kids. I actually have two kids here in my house and they like, they hate my content with a passion. They're like, ew, this is, you know, it's for adults. It's, you know, how to run a business. I, you know, I mean, all this stuff, it doesn't appeal to them. Um, so uh, you want to make sure you're selecting this, right? It, don't skip on that because uh, that will prevent uh, the FTC and uh, YouTube from scrutinizing scrutinizing your content uh, because you know you're you haven't made a decision and there's like they gotta look whether um, uh, it's appropriate for kids or not and there are some fines there's some stuff like I'm like I'm spending a little bit of time on that you need to make sure you set this up okay. Uh, you have a more option here at the bottom. Uh, if you want to click on that, you can actually do some uh, a little bit more in-depth stuff. So there's some a, a part about paid promotion. If you have any paid promotions inside your video, you want to click on that. Uh, then there, the next section are tags. Now tags is the same thing uh, in terms of search engine optimization is to help YouTube figure out what to do with your content and how to serve it to people. So again, it's all about the search. So uh, it, one of the tags that I have there by default is my name. If someone is looking for my name, Antoine DuPont, I want them to find that video by default. But now I have options up to 500 characters of, of tags. So I'm going to create one It's going to be how to upload a video to YouTube. And that's a tag. All right, so we've done the tags, uh, then you have to pick it the um, the language, the video uh, language. So actually you have, <laughs> it's interesting here, you have five different English. Who knew, right? The the English in the United Kingdom, Ireland, they speak a different English apparently. Uh, Canadians, United States, and then English non-descriptive, right? So um, English, United States for me, so you just pick the language um, uh, of, uh, of uh, the video. Uh, then you have to pick the uh, caption certification. So you need to actually say this content is never aired on television in the US. Uh, you have actually several options. So choose the appropriate option. For me, it's always the number one It's never aired. Uh, you can pick a recording date, right, which is today. Video location. Now that's super important, especially if you're uh, geographically located in a specific uh, location like West Palm Beach, for example, right?
right? So I'm going to put West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, license, uh, this is whether it's a standard YouTube license or Creative Commons. I always pick the first one. And actually, honestly, I don't know what the second one is. Uh, but you can find that out. I, I just picked the first one. Uh, again, distribution um, everywhere or make this video only a monetized platform. Uh, so I usually uh, pick everywhere. You can allow embedding. You can allow people to take your video and upload it on uh, on their web page. Uh, publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers. Yes, you actually want to do that, but you could select not to do that. Uh, the category of your video, um, you know what what it is. So I mean, this is self explanatory. I usually fall into the how to and style, but you pick one. Um, now there is something about the comments. Uh, allow all comments or hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. That's the one I pick. Uh, usually those comments are not inappropriate, but they're more like spammy type of stuff, like people trying to ha you know, hack their stuff. So this is, I, I pick that um, for that reason. Then sort, uh, you know, put it to the top or newest, that's pretty much uh, self-descriptive and show how many viewers like or dislike this video. You can actually turn it off You know, if you don't wanna show that. Once you've done all this, you click on next and you go into the monetization. Now, um, unless you have a thousand people, uh, a thousand subscribers, sorry, you're not going to see that. But the monetization is very simple is on and off, you could actually have it on or off just as simple as that. And then you can select uh, the type of ads that is going to be displayed on your video. It's really pretty straightforward. So I'm going to skip the well, I'm not going to skip, I'm just going to click on next, because this is done. And then now you're going into the video elements. Um, there's a couple of things here. Add uh, an end screen and a card to a video. So let me show you the end screen. So you click on add. And you've probably seen that on videos that you've watched. Uh, in the last 20 seconds of the video, YouTube allows you to um, upload the next video to watch. Um, or, uh, uh, you know, several, several things, one, uh, for people to subscribe. So let me show you how that works. So you click on add elements, you can upload a video, subscribe another channel and a link. So let's click on subscribe, which is usually what I do. So then it just drops this in the video and then I can click and drag it and put it wherever I want. So I'm going to put it right here in the bottom left corner and then I can add a video. So create, and then it says most recent upload best for viewers. So you could actually have them decide which video or choose a video, which is usually what I do. And then it's going to show you all the videos from your library that you can say, okay, just show this one. So let's do how to create an email signature. There you go. And it's going to drop same thing. It's dropping that little video here. So then I can place it wherever I want and I can add another one, uh, create a new video, choose a video from a library, this one, and I'll pick the green one this time. There you go. And then it's dropping that video. So now uh, I have a little subscribe button and the next two videos to watch. Once I click on save, what is going to do that by default, when the people reach the last 20 seconds, these things are going to show up. So I'm going to click on save. And once it's save, uh, upper right hand corner here, return to YouTube Studio. So you want to do the return and finish the process. And there you go. So I have added some elements. Uh, I can add some cards for uh, time purposes. I don't use cards, but you can learn about it. I'm sure there's another video about that. I'm going to skip on it. I don't use cards, but you could add a card uh, to a video. So if, once you've done adding your uh, end screen, you just click on next. And now you're in the final uh, section of uploading a video, which is uh, publishing basically the video. So you have three options. You have public, unlisted, and private. If you select public, everybody will see this video, the entire world, right? And private, nobody will see it. So it's, it's day and night, right? So it's public, everybody sees it, private, nobody sees it. So that's one of the ways, you, that's what you can pick or um, unlisted. Now unlisted doesn't mean that nobody can see it. it means it's not listed in your um, in your channel. I have discovered that by um, uh, by accident, I actually put an unlisted video thinking nobody could actually see it. And that's not true because uh, if uh, the title and the description have keywords uh, in there that YouTube would pick up, then uh, if someone is searching for that, it is going to serve that video, even though it's unlisted, right? So if you don't want anyone to see it, uh, click it, uh, uh, select private. Now, um, you could say I want this public, 
but I want to schedule it for a specific date, right? So I want to um, release this video. We're going to pick on Friday, Friday morning, and then we're going to pick the time and then we can pick, you know, any time like 7 a.m., for example, uh, and we can set it as a premiere. Now, I will give you the information about what a premiere is. And if you think your video is a premiere, then select that. Um, I usually don't ever have any video that's a, that's a, uh, that's a premiere, so I don't select like that so we're gonna do the, the schedule on Friday at 7 a.m. I click on schedule the video and you're done this is it this is how uh, you uh, upload a video to YouTube it's telling you exactly uh, when the video is going to be published it's showing you uh, the thumbnail it's showing you the title uh, it's even giving you a link uh, so you could actually you know share that link with uh, with people in your email uh, marketing or however you do it on social media and that's pretty much it this is how you upload a video to YouTube Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, before you leave, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much. Ciao.